Hi and welcome to Shoves' classes. Today we are going to be solving some important theoretical as well as numerical questions on econometrics. You can call or whatsapp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or full videos on our courses. We need to figure out whether the following models are linear regression models or not. We have to also explain why or why not. Let's take the first one. Yi equals to e to power beta 1 plus sorry plus beta 2 xi plus ui let me make this a little bit thinner for you to see therefore let's take log on both sides that is ln yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 capital xi plus ui this is in fact a linear regression model notice how the form is there beta 1 plus beta 2 xi remember that ui is the error term now going on to number b yi equals to 1 by 1 plus e to power beta 1 plus beta 2 x i plus u i the following transformation that i'm gonna do is known as a logic transformation it makes the model a linear regression model that is ln 1 minus y i whole divided by y i equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui moving on to the next question we have the following non-stochastic models we need to figure out whether they are linear regression models or not is it possible by suitable algebraic manipulations to convert them into linear models let's see let's start off with the first one we are given yi equals to 1 by beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. Now transforming the model as 1 by yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. This makes it a linear regression model. Now doing for number b yi equals to xi by beta 1 plus beta 2 xi let's see what to do now we write the model as xi by yi and this equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi this is in fact another linear regression model now number C let me clear the screen yi equals to 1 by 1 plus exp into minus beta 1 minus beta 2 xi now let us make a transformation a logic transformation that I had shown you earlier 1 minus yi by yi equals to minus beta 1 minus beta 2 xi and that makes it a linear regression model thus the original models are intrinsically linear models but the next one becomes a linear regression models moving on to the next question given the assumptions in column 1 of the table it is show that the assumption in column 2 are equivalent to them essentially it means we start off with whatever is given in column 2 and we'll derive for column 1 let's start off with the first one as we know yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui therefore expectation yi by xi equals to expectation of 
बीरा वन प्लस बीरा टू एक्स आई प्लस यू आई होल गिवन एक्स आई दिस इक्वल्स टू बीरा वन प्लस बीरा टू एक्स आई अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रॉपर्टीज प्लस ई एक्सपेक्टेशन यू आई गिवन एक्स आई सिंस बीटर्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एक्स इज नॉन स्टोकैस्टिक नाउ दिस इक्वल्स टू बीरा वन प्लस बीरा टू एक्स आई सिंस दिस टर्म इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो बाय एजम्पन hence we have derived the first one now doing it for the second one now we are given that covariance ui uj equals to 0 for all i j then covariance yi yj equals to expectation Yi आई माइनस एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वाई आई इंटू वाई जे माइनस एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ वाई जे दिस इक्वल्स एक्सपेक्टेशन यू आई यू जे फ्रॉम द रिजल्ट इन आर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दिस इक्वल्स एक्सपेक्टेशन U I into expectation U J since error terms are not correlated and this is in fact by assumptions. Thus, this equals to zero since each U I has zero mean. Variance u i given x i equals to sigma square. Now variance y i given x i equals to expectation y i minus expectation y i whole square, which is equals to expectation u i square. Or variance u i given x i equals to sigma square. Moving on to the next question. Now we need to show that r square defined in three point five point five, which I'll show you. Ranges between zero and one. We may use Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, which states that for any random variable x and y, the following relationship holds true: that is, expectation x y whole square is less than equals to expectation x square and expectation y square. Let's see. From the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, it follows that expectation x y whole square by expectation X square into expectation y square is less than equals to one. Now r square equals to summation x i y i whole square by summation x i square into summation small i y i Whole square, which is less than equals to, by analogy with the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. This also holds true of rho square, the squared population correlation coefficient, and hence the required answer has been derived. With this, we come to an end of another amazing video on econometrics. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification button for staying with us. You can contact us at the number given below.